Hey guys. Um, today we are talking about people that like to either A, make your life a living hell, <laughs> B, liars, C, people that you think are your friends but turn around and backstab you. And I know that we've all been there. I know that we've all dealt with this topic. And I figured, why not just talk about it? Because a lot of people on the internet feel that, you know, more serious issues shouldn't really be talked about. And I think that we should talk about them. Because if, we're, if I'm dealing with it, and you're dealing with that, then why can't we just talk about it together and kind of just rant and just kind of get our feelings out? Because it is very, very healthy for everybody to get their feelings out, whether it's a negative topic or a healthy topic. Either way, it's good to vent. And we all need an outlet to vent or a person to vent to. But sometimes we don't have people to talk to about things. And this is why some people make YouTube videos. Um, first of all, I want to say to you guys that I've always been true to you, I've always been real to you, I've always been pretty raw. I don't edit my videos much because I don't feel like I need to. Um, if I fuck up a word, if I swear, if I don't look that great that day, um, if I don't do my hair that day, or if I'm talking about something and I get maybe a slight information of whatever it is wrong or I say the word wrong, I don't usually tend to edit it out because I want you to see that there are no such thing as perfect people. And I think that with society today, we believe that we're supposed to look a certain way, dress a certain way, talk a certain way, you know, and that's bullshit. And it's kind of like, it kind of goes back to the whole thing that we talked about last week, but that had to do with gays and stuff like that. This is not, this is just about human beings, which not to say last video was pretty much about human beings as well, but we're not accepted as human beings. We're accepted as like these evil devilish people that are going to come in your house and like eat your face off at nighttime. Um, we're not. <laughs> But anyway, I just wanted to say that the reason why I don't always edit stuff out, you've seen my videos. If you've been with me since the beginning, you know that sometimes I do edit and sometimes I make some pretty cool effects. But for the most part, I'm not one of those fancy YouTubers. I come on, I talk to you guys about whatever that topic is and we just kind of talk. And I don't edit and I don't, you know, make it all fancy and stuff like that because I don't believe that how you make your video okay the way I feel is that a lot of people on YouTube make really really fancy videos or they use a lot of editing programs and you know you know like MacBook Pro and all that stuff and to and it's really really cool and don't get me wrong they get like billions of views or millions and that's awesome but then there are people like me that don't do amazing editing and they don't do like the real creative you know stuff like that they they mainly just talk about whatever like I do and they don't get many views because people find it not as interesting because I'm not pretending to be somebody else talking to somebody else you know how you know what I'm talking about how a lot of other people make a really cool video where they have themselves and they double themselves and they're talking to themselves about somebody else and they're pretending that they're someone else and blah, 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 blah. You get what I'm saying. I don't do that because that's not the kind of channel that I am. Um, don't get me wrong, I do make funny videos at times as well, but I don't always feel that I need to be creative because I think that the underdogs like myself, the ones that have inspirational, helpful um, videos and people that are protesting about something positive, you know, like animal rights and equality rights, um, 
you know, and animal abuse and LGBT community. You know, when I'm sitting here talking about all these topics and my videos don't get around the world because they're not as creative, I find that kind of shitty and offensive because it shows that I care about hum humanity and I care about the world and I care about people in it as well as the animals. Um, and just because my video isn't as creative doesn't mean that it's not a good video. And I think it's shitty that we're rated on how we look or how we dress or how, you know, how we talk. How I'm sitting here making you this, making this video is what I'm going to be judged on by ratings or by views. And I just think it sucks because there's a lot of people that put a lot of time into their videos, you know, and don't get a lot of views. And then there's people that sit there eating a bowl of cereal and they get like hundreds upon hundreds of like almost a million views on eating a bowl of cereal. I just, I just, because that person's attractive, you know, because they're attractive and they're eating a bowl of cereal and all the girls love it so they go crazy and they hit that like button a gazillion times because man you got a hot guy there sitting there eating a bowl of cereal for 60 seconds man that's a viral video right there now don't get me wrong I'm not judging it I just think that it's a different type of video and they're pretty much getting People like that get their likes because of their looks, because they're attractive, and I mean, what's not to like about attractive guy sitting there eating a bowl of cereal for 60 seconds, just, cut the video, like, that right there, man, that was like the best video I've ever seen in my entire life, it was so informative, and I've learned so much in that video, but really, I mean, I'm raw, I'm honest with you guys, and I've never misled you in the wrong direction. If I've gotten something wrong, or whatever, I've always said, oh, you know, I, I messed this topic up, or I said something wrong that, you know, wasn't in the topic, or whatever. You know what I'm saying. I'm not perfect, and nobody is. But really, I just really wanted to tell you guys that if somebody claims to be perfect, they're not. And we shouldn't strive to be perfect, and we shouldn't strive to be somebody that we're not. Now, if somebody's trying to ruin your day and bring you down, then you know what? That's their problem, and it's not yours. At the end of the day, when you truly think about somebody that's trying to screw your life up by talking about you, spreading rumors that aren't true, it makes you feel shitty, right? Yeah, it does, because let's be honest, it, it hurts. No matter who it is, whether it's somebody that you don't know or somebody that you do know, it still hurts because we're human beings. And we might act tough and try to put on a tough face like, that didn't bother me at all. But at the end of the day, if you truly have a heart, it's going to affect you and it's going to make you feel kind of shitty. It does for me. I mean, I was recently in a situation where these people that I didn't even know, never met in my entire life, but knew them kind of by somebody else that I knew, but still never saw these per people, never talked with them in real life, never talked with them on the phone, never texted them, nothing, nothing. But still, I had extreme dramatic drama with them. And I feel that it's crazy. Like, if you're going to go that deep into my life and you're going to, like, harass me and tried to dig into my my personal life and this and that like what does that say about you if you're doing it for a positive reason and because you are you know being kind then go right ahead I don't have anything to hide but if you're doing it to be resentful or just nasty then you know what it's just it's kind of like bullying you know I just felt like this woman this woman who claims to be a woman, um, you know, acts like she's so much better than me because she has a husband and five children with, I, I won't get into the topic, but it, I don't even know this girl, but she has, she felt that she can get into my life and judge me 
and make up stories about me. And you know what? Sometimes in the internet world, you don't put your real name out there because, well, that would be stupid. Right? Or am I wrong? I guess the moral of the story is people will judge you no matter who they are, whether they know you or they don't know you. Like I said, this girl doesn't even know who I am. I've never met her, nothing. Never saw her, never talked with her, nothing. But still demanded to put me down, harass me, send me nasty emails on Facebook and whatnot. And at the same time, it bothered me, but at the same time, I'm kind of like, if you're going to sit here and write me this long-ass email talking about my life, and saying that my life sucks because of this or that. Well, what does that say about you? You're obviously not that happy with your life. You know? If you're going to sit there and put my life down. And say that my life isn't good because of whatever. Then your life can't be that great. If you're going to sit there and talk shit about me. Blocked. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm so grateful for the whole block button on Facebook. I think a lot of other um, social media sites to do that. I know YouTube does. But... Most, most sites do, but whatever. Off track. Anyway, I just really wanted to talk about know your true friends. Know your true family and friends that care about and, and love you. You'll know when someone is not your true friend. They'll do something or say something that will make you be like, hmm, that doesn't seem like something a true friend would say. Um, you know, if I saw a friend that was talking to somebody and that made them happy, Okay, and they were so happy that they met each other and they were talking to each other and whatnot. And I looked at them and I, I'm thinking to myself, wow, they are really happy. Why would I get involved in them and their relationship or their non-relationship, whatever, and try to ruin it and sabotage and make them unhappy? That would mean that my life sucks if I'm trying to do that to them. That's just a waste of time, of my time, their time, and making people feel shitty. Why do that? Why do we make people feel shitty? Really? Why do we put each other down? What is it about that we love to make others feel shitty? I just, I really don't get it. I really just wish there were more kind people in the world that cared about important things. Like animal rights or equal, equality rights. But instead we have people killing animals raping people, killing people, and that's supposed to be okay. I don't get it. Like I said last week, our priorities are obviously in the wrong. They're just wrong. But anyway, the whole point of this video is to just know your true friends, watch your back, because you might think that someone is your true friend, and then you know what? You're going to turn your back for like a split second, and then bam, that person's going to fuck you over and people that are your true friends or family don't do that. True friends and family care about you, love you, look out for you, and don't do it in a shitty manner. You know, don't fuck with someone's happiness. Really. If you don't want it done to you, don't fuck with someone's happiness. Can't we just be happy and stop fighting each other? I just don't get it. I truly don't get it. But I guess it doesn't matter. Anyway, guys, that's it. I love you guys. Peace and love. Be cool. Be kind. Don't judge. And, um, <sighs> I forgot what I was going to say. But anyway, I love you so much. And I will see you soon. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. All links are in the down bar. And have a good day.